Right now, on these streets, he is in charge. Barbecue, they call him. Jimmy Chirice, the leader of a collective of gangs, street fighters who have effectively pulled off a coup. Today, we are telling the international community to give Haiti a chance. We Haitians have to decide who is going to lead the country and what model of government we want. He was reacting from the streets to the resignation of the Prime Minister, prevented from returning to his own country, forced to step down in neighbouring Puerto Rico. The government I am running, he said, will remove itself immediately after the establishment of a transitional presidential council. The images from the past week reflect this slide into chaos. At the approach road to the country's main airport, they run for cover. The army still controls it, but it remains closed to flights. No way to escape, no aid coming in. The seaport has reportedly reopened after government forces pushed gangs back. But at a cost, the number of dead and injured continues to rise. The US Secretary of State joined an urgent meeting of regional leaders in Jamaica this week, a collective effort to install a transitional government and a path to elections. And at the U.S. State Department, the spokesman hinted at the big concern for America. But certainly we have seen a very unstable security situation, and we know that what often happens when you have an unstable security situation, as you reference in the question, uh, is an increase in people attempting to flee the country. It is the alignment of rival gangs together fighting government forces which has prompted this latest turn for a country that's been failing for years. These are images from a gang leader's drone, spotting government military vehicles, tracking the movement of an army from the air. And this is a moment from last week's prison break when gangs freed thousands. Government forces on the roof, again, gangs spotting their targets. Last year, Sky News toured the streets and alleys controlled by barbecue. A former policeman, self-cast now as a Robin Hood for the people here but cast by others as a straightforward gangster. He is internationally sanctioned. He denies links to numerous murders. His message now, that the Haitian people will hold their nation's destiny. But it's one being driven, for now, by him. Mark Stone, Sky News.